Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and guys down below in the comment section I want you to put down one thing. Do you think that XRP is going to hit its all time high this year or do you think it's going to be next year or in a completely different time? I'm personally thinking it can still happen this year as I've already said about 10 times by now as first of all, we have the lawsuit which could still come to a settlement and second of all, Bitcoin is just poised for yet another breakout and I firmly believe that the moment it does, oh boy, oh boy. It's going to be big. Now for XRP, if you're wondering what the price has just done, we basically came in for a double bottom right here at about $1.05 or so for XRP. This was almost perfectly as expected. Pretty nice to see. And right now, if you're wondering why it went to this level, as you can clearly see, it's an interesting point throughout the last couple of days. So it's an area that we basically just hit quite a lot of times. You can see here, one time, I mean, it depends on how 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 heavy you take them, right? But at least one time, let's say two, three times, four, five, six, and now a seventh time. So definitely quite a strong resistance point that we got rejected from right now. And so right now we're kind of playing bouncing ball. If you're a really big risk taker, you can short it all the way back to this area for a triple bottom. But again, that's a risky move because right now there's really not that much that can be said. I would say the most crucial support as of this point is $1.10. And if you're wondering why I talk about this so often, guys, it's because I like to talk about the price. No, actually, to be honest with you guys, look at this. We have one, two, three, four. We have more hits on this level as well. So I guess this is another interesting level that we're actually finding some support on right now as we speak. So I'm going to say that that's the most crucial area as of this point. I'm going to put this one in here as well. Guys, Yes, we, we got our we got our areas of interest, right? Uh, you can clearly see $1.13 is also a point which we've hit many, many times throughout the last couple of days. Then this point is our kind of our area of, of earlier and everything below that basically is just bearish territory. We don't really want to see that. Hopefully, we're going to bounce back from about $1.13.5 and all the way back towards about $1.18. Theoretically speaking, we could try to get some long in here as well to kind of you know, get in there before the big pump, but... You know how my strategy is, right, guys? I take the trades whenever I almost know for certain that it's going to make us money. Like, for example, this area right here. I told you all that it was a good idea. And again, I can tell you that you should buy. I can tell you that you should sell. But what I can tell you is when I think it's a good idea to strengthen our position in this crypto because of some pumps. And by the way, guys, whenever I'm talking about XRP, it is not only XRP that's important. It is also Bitcoin. And right now, Bitcoin, everybody in the freaking crypto community is talking about this cup and handle. And guys, if you are enjoying these daily crypto videos, please help out the video by pressing the like button. It helps out so much. And you guys all remember, right? I don't want subscribers. I don't want anything from you. All I want is to build a little bit of a community so we can all chat with each other. I read every single comment every single day. I might, re might not reply, but that's because there's just too many to go and reply to everything. There's Sometimes there's more than a thousand comments a day. You also have Twitter, Instagram, and everything. It would be another full-time job, right? But what we do have is one dedicated man, all right, that works 12 hours a day to keep the comment section clean of all scammers. Little shout out to him right here, all right? He appreciated the last shout out. Another little shout out to you right here for doing all your hard work. We all appreciate you for keeping the comment section clean. And by the way, my comment section is censorship free. If you have any hatred to spell, just put it down there. It'll never be deleted. Unless you put blocked words in, then it does automatically get blocked by YouTube. All right, so the cup and handle, which we're referring to right here, has kind of started at the end of the 25th. And I guess the cup here was, a, about, let's say, about three days worth or so from the 25th to about the 28th. Eighth, the start or so of it and the handle which you can clearly see right here being made uh, still and what how it basically works right is we take the upper part of the cup 
towards the down part of the cup, which is roughly about 6, 5.8, something like that percent. And once we break out towards the upside, people usually expect that from that point of forward at which we break out from, there's going to be some similar sort of gains happening. So uh, that would theoretically speak in place Bitcoin at about, let's say about 51.8K or so, roughly at around that area. And we could, I guess, look back. Uh, 50.5K is another strong, most likely quite strong resistance for Bitcoin. Do you have any other levels here? That are interesting for bitcoin i guess it goes quite a ways back already so a couple of points are going to be right here at about 51.3 i can also see that's an interesting level as of this point already and yeah at 52.5 i don't think there's anything at 51.8 too much uh, i guess we're seeing this point right we're seeing two of these right here two hits as of that point i don't think it's too strong a resistance though if you're really honestly asking me there's a little bit more price action than I anticipated, actually. Guys, we've actually spent quite some time above this $50,000 level. Are you guys noticing that just now? Look at how much price action we actually had above 50 k And look how many times we bounced back to kind of retest. <laughs> and to kind of think that this is the end of it all, huh? Yeah. That's the fun part about crypto sometimes, too. You don't know that you're hitting a top until it's over, right? Everybody thought, oh, this is just another bounce. This is just another retest of our previous support until it kept falling down lower. However, that is all besides the point, because if you look on a little bit of a broader time frame, uh, Bitcoin as of this point is actually still, well, let's zoom the freak in, uh, as of this point is still just making higher lows and higher highs, oh sorry, yeah, higher lows and higher highs, right? We made our big dip right here on about 29,000 July 21st, and we've just been going up and up and up piece by piece from that point of four, making our first low, our second low, our third low, and now potentially our fourth low. But generally speaking, we're just kind of trading upwards and upwards and upwards with all these higher highs as well. For XRP, it's a little bit more difficult as that chart has made the same bottom on about July 20th, 21st, 20th, uh, and has made some consecutive higher highs, yet from a couple of days ago, about August 15th, it's basically started in a little bit of a downtrend. And now I am assuming that's because Bitcoin is taking a little bit of its dominance back and XRP had such a rally that right now it has to kind of calm down as we can also see in the XRP to BTC chart right here. It's performing in the exact same manner, going down a little bit, which again represents that Bitcoin is still most likely going up, but just a little bit less severe. Uh, XRP is going just a little bit less severe. Uh, then again, I'm not really too worried about it. I told you guys before about Ethereum 2, right there, at about $2,900, we had a critical bounce to make. And if we made that bounce, I expected things to be bullish from here on forward. And again, as you can clearly see here, Ethereum has been bullish. They haven't been really too high of new closes or too high highs, but it's still going pretty strong if you were to ask me. All right, once more, a big double bottom here on about July 20th, 21st. And from that point of forward, just making higher lows and higher highs. It is actually only kind of XRP that's in a little bit of a predicament. And then again, one thing you can also do, by the way, is draw this cup and handle, which we saw right here. Um, I believe we saw it on, I don't know exactly where I drew it anymore, guys. <laughs> oh, I think I drew it in this one right here. You can actually kind of portray it on almost every different crypto right now, because to be honest with you, it's what happens most of the time. All these cryptos are performing in some very similar type of way, just you know, kind of following Bitcoin along. Right now, some crypto going down a little bit more, like eight hours or so, but that's also proportional to the gains that they've had extra versus Bitcoin throughout the last couple of weeks. So if you take, for example, ADA to Bitcoin, you notice that that coin has just done really, really well throughout the last couple of weeks. And so a correction in that sense is also not that strange. You can actually do ADA to BTC to kind of uh, showcase what I'm trying to say. Let's see here, for example, so yeah, you can see ADA to BTC has just been pumping up, pumping up, pumping up. So that's not that crazy. <laughs> uh, now, by the way, guys, there's a couple of things which I should tell you. One is you can get $3,600 worth of bonuses over on Bybit right now. So go ahead and check it out. A link is down below. Second, this is just the platform I use to trade all the time. It's treating me really royally. And we're going to be doing a 3000 XP giveaway really soon. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel because otherwise you miss content. Make sure you press the like button to support the channel. Make sure you check out Bybit if you want a platform to trade on. It's just the best, at least that I've witnessed before. And another reason to be on Bybit is because pretty soon here, guys, I think in about a, a week and a half, I'm going to be launching another XRP competition where the total giveaway might be at 100,000 XRP. Last time, how much did we do, guys? I think 11,000 XRP we gave away, which was uh, last month. I think somewhere in July.
And if you want proof, go join Discord, ask around. People really won. All right, one per. I, I even spoke to the person who was number one, and he was really happy with that. He put it to his daughter. He actually watched these videos. You might see them in the comment section soon. He actually uh, put it to his daughter's university fund, I believe, or at least college fund, something like that, which is really noble and really cool idea. But once more, these things are not fake. They're not a joke. It's real stuff. And I've told you guys before as well, I'm always trying to be transparent, always trying to be open. These things, a lot of these giveaways, are not going to be sponsored by me, but for example, by Bybit. And what they basically do is because you bring people to their platform, like again, you guys are you know, joining, I can just kind of talk with them to give y'all, people who use my link, more benefits. Like right now I have a 10% trading discount or trading fee discount uh, because I won a competition. That's what I did for myself. I tried to win, I won, and now you guys have a 10% discount. Uh, but for example, those giveaways and stuff, I'm the only channel out there who has XRP giveaways. And I tried my best for that because they didn't really understand it at the start, but it's all progressive. It all works. It's pretty cool. And I want thing you can also do is join uh, me over on Twitter because there's just sometimes, you know, cool things that I share over on there might help as well. <laughs> I don't know if you want to be updated. And I had some other content, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Let me just uh, upload the price action video for right now, and then we'll get back to some other content a little bit later today. Thank you all for watching so much. See you guys again in another one. And let me know what you think about the price.